All right, so let's look at our last question here, which is question 18, where we have a boat, toy boat, which has a scale of 1 to 40 for an actual boat. And it says here the mast on the toy boat weighs 216 grams, so how many tons would the actual boat mast weigh, assuming that we're going from the scale model to an actual boat? So <clears throat> when we read this question here, what we're having is we're having a scale of 1 to 40. So this is like a linear measurement here it's a linear scale so for every like one unit in the scale boat it's 40 times larger on the actual boat but because we're looking at mass here mass is equivalent to what we looked at in our previous question volume okay so mass is proportional to volume okay so what we have to be looking at doing here is going from our linear measurement to a volume measurement and then converting that into mass. Okay, so we can do this here on the side here. So we know that <clears throat> the ratio of the actual boat here is 1 to 40. That's the linear measurement, but if we are going to convert that into a volume measurement, we're going to have to con convert that to the cube of that value. So it's going to be 140, it's cubed. So that is going to be equal to 1 over 40 times 40 times 40, which is 64,000. So the ma the volume ratio here is 1 to 64,000. Okay, so the 1 is the scale model and the 64,000 is the real boat. Okay, and then from that we know the ratio here, the, the toy boat is going to be 216 grams, and we're going to convert that to kilograms because it's going to be, looks like we're looking at a very large number. So 0.216 kilograms is equal to x, over x. So x is going to be how many kilograms the real mast is. So to solve for x, we just cross multiply the two. So it's 1 times x, and then it's going to be 64,000 times 0.216, which is going to be 13,824 kilograms. And we're actually being asked to probably convert this into tons because that's a better unit. So 1 ton is equal to 1,000 kilograms, so x, we just divide by 1,000, so it's going to be 13.824 tons is the actual mass. Okay, so this question is very similar to the other ones, where we're going from a linear scale to a volume scale, okay, and then from volume, we're now converting it into a mass, all right? So that's how that question would work itself out.